All right, folks, but you guys, idiot, we are back. We got a lot of stuff we got to get through. I recovered the data from the wiped hard drive. Somebody went through a lot of trouble to make it look like it had come from Chen's personal computer. But was it from a different computer entirely? I haven't been able to trace it back to the source yet, but I'll keep looking into it. I'll let you know. Alright. I've decoded the note you gave me. It's an apology letter from Alex Houghton to Stephen Chen. In it, Alex writes that he's sorry that it's come to this, and that he hopes one day Chen will realize that he gathered the, the evidence against him because he had to, and he doesn't say why. Wait a second, so far Houghton has said that he was a willing participant in the case against Chen, but this makes it seem like he's been strong-armed. Mr. Houghton must really miss our company, because he's just earned himself another visit. So you delivered quite an interesting pile of mail to me. It's clear that General Miller was indeed blackmailing Brenda Collins into not testifying, but there's also something else. The charges against Brenda aren't made up. She's actually been stealing heroin from the evidence locker. General Miller was in the process of burying it for her. So wait, Brenda Collins was stealing drugs and General Miller was prepared to help her cover it up? I think we better pay Miss Collins another visit. I finished analyzing these bank slips. It seems like Judge Miller has been accepting a lot of money every month from a mysterious Shell Corporation. The Shell Corporation Corporation is managed by Ice Hammer, one of the largest private mercenary contractors utilized by the U.S. military, and they've been paying Miller thousands of dollars every month. Was it possible that Miller might be working with these contractors, a consultant or something? Given that these amounts are being deposited into an offshore account, which Miller tried to hide, I'd say it's not likely. But then again, only he can tell you for sure. Mr. Houghton, I'm going to go right to the chase. We have reason to believe that you haven't been entirely honest with us regarding what you know about Chen. Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? I've been straightforward with you on everything so far. Well, then perhaps you could explain to us why we found this note. We de we've decoded it, and we know it's an apology that you wrote to Chen. Care to tell us why it reads like you were being pressured? I was as surprised as anybody when Stephen was identified as the leak, building the case against him, which is part of my job, but it doesn't mean I was thrilled about it. Chen made mistakes, but he was looking at a long sentence. I just wanted to write him something to let him know that I was thinking of him, but I didn't want my bosses to know. I mean, my mother made me go to Sunday school as a kid. Love the sinner, hate the sin, you know? I only told my bosses I suspected Stephen because I was trying to be a good guy. Ooh. No? He seems a little suspect, but I think as agents, we've all seen a friend or two lose their career to bad decisions. I think Alex is telling the truth about that. You said you were just as surprised as anyone when Chen was identified as the leak, but we know you were the one who brought it to your superior's attention. Which one is it, Mr. Houghton? Oh, yeah, 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 I get that. All right, fine, I lied earlier. I was surprised when I was told that Chen was the leak. He'd always had been had a bit of a liberal outlook, but I never saw him as some sort of anti-government crusader. But I had to do my job, even though we were friends, so I helped my superiors build a case against Chen, even though I didn't want to. I had to do it. Our investigation has revealed that much of the evidence against Chen was forged. Were you aware of this? No. I guess I didn't do my due diligence analyzing the evidence. There was just so much pressure from the top to wrap up the case. I assumed what they had was solid. Well, thanks to your shoddy efforts, your innocent friend wound up in jail. I hope you realize the ramifications of not doing your job correctly. Dang, she's like, oh snap. Well, you lied to us earlier, Miss Collins. You you were really stealing heroin from the evidence locker, weren't you? I, well, yeah, it's true. I'm so sorry. Do you realize that if this were to come to light, it would threaten the credibility of everything you've told so far? How could you be so thoughtless? Well, about two years ago, I was in a car accident. I was using oxycodone to manage the pain, but my prescription ran out. I read on the internet that heroin could have the same effects. Miller found out about my theft, and he threatened to report me unless I agreed not to present the new evidence for Chen. I'm so sorry, I never meant for this to happen. Well, we're going to have to find extra evidence to corroborate everything you've told us. Your testimony would never hold up in court if your transgressions came to light. General, why do you have bank records indicating that you've been receiving secret payments every month from a shell corporation affiliated with a military contractor? What? 
You, you had no right to go through my personal information like that. I seem to recall you giving us blanket permission to search your desk, and as there was no warrant involved, there were no constraints on the breadth of our search. So, who are you taking bribes from? It, well, it's not bribes at all. Those payments are related to legitimate contracting work that I'm performing for Ice Hammer. Our analysis determined that the account is off the books. Furthermore, someone has accused you of intimidation with the intent to keep Stephen Chen in prison. If you value your career, you'll start being honest with us now. Is the money you're accepting from Ice Hammer a bribe or related to the Stephen Chen case? He's going to say no. Hmm, I suppose it's possible that Mel could be receiving these payments for actual legitimate contracting work, but I still don't trust him. We need to figure out another angle. I told you it was useless to lie to us, General. Now tell us exactly why we were being bribed. Otherwise, we'll go directly to your superiors. I'm sure they're quite curious as well. Fine. I was contracted by someone who told me that if I convicted Chen, I would receive a monthly deposit in my bank account. If I didn't cooperate, a three-year affair I'd, I've been having will be revealed. Ultimately, I made a choice to save my career and my marriage. The money was just them upholding their end of the bargain. Are you the person who sent notes to Brenda Collins threatening her to not present evidence at Chen's appeal? Well, it's an open secret that Miss Collins has all sorts of personal demons. You should be careful what kind of person you take that information from. Now, if you don't mind, I'm doing court. Man, that's good. Easy peasy. Oh, a lot less. I'm glad you came to see me, Agent. Mr. Reddington has been very curious about your progress. Anything new to share? Nice. So the invisible hand was right. I'd say Mr. Reddington would be happy about this, but it just annoys him to know and when a group he doesn't respect is actually correct about something. I'll reach out to some of my sources and see if we can help you figure out who's masterminding this cover-up. Well, there you are. As much as it pains me to say, and believe me, the pain here is lasting and deep. The invisible hand is correct, and Chen is being framed. Now, to find out who's framing him. There's bound to have been a misstep somewhere in forging all that evidence. Take Taurus to the facility where it's held and see if you, what you can recover. And the hearing was delicious, thanks for asking. I mean, he's, he's crazy, but, you know, kind of like our boss, so I do what he says. Here we are. Let's see what we can dig up. Hold on. Looks like somebody's here, but who? Help me. Please help me. Whoa, Brenda, what happened to you? I came here to get evidence, try and find something useful, make up for lying to you. Someone was here. He, he... It's okay, don't try to talk. We're gonna help you out. Agent, search the area for something that can help us figure out who attacked Miss Collins. I'll call an ambulance. Oh, snap. It's crazy. That's not a document. That's a document. Military pin. Uh oh, military pin. 108, sunglasses, where's the flash drive? Right there. Hmm, from the look at this place, it seems like whoever attacked Miss Collins also ransacked the evidence lock where all the information on Chen was being held. Looks like they left in a hurry. We must scare them away. Nice work recovering the flash drive and the IP log. These could be huge in identifying our forger. This military pin seems out of place. Let's compare it to some pins from the archives to see if we can learn more about it. I'd also like to have another chat with our John Doe. Yeah, we want to do a bunch of stuff. Classify documents. So the last one is find all 50 items. All right, I can do that. All right, so we're gonna guess upper left. Nope. Bottom right. Uh, nope. Nope. It's the best way to get through these. Well, it's a West Point pin commemorating the 40th anniversary of the class of 1975. There's no record of being checked into that evidence facility. Maybe it was left there by Miss Collins' attacker? 
According to his military record, General Miller graduated from the academy lot that year. Let's stop it in on the general and see if this belongs to him. That's what I was thinking when I saw it. Ah, agents. Lovely that you could pop in and visit me. If you're here, I can only assume that you have an update on your government's conspiracy against Stephen Chen. Well, we've determined that there's a conspiracy to frame Chen for leaving classified documents, but so far we haven't been able to figure out why someone wanted Chen to take the fall. Well, Chen was in possession of evidence of severe government misconduct. On the day of his appeal, an associate of Chen's hid the evidence in a pre-agreed upon location at the motel. The plan was to have him recover the evidence so we'd have some leverage, but Chen was disoriented from the gas, and we didn't confirm whether or not he grabbed the evidence. We wanted to wait for him to recover his bearings, so one of the guards started stirring, so we had to get Chen out of there. It's one of the reasons I stayed in that motel pretending to be Alex Houghton. I wanted to see if I could confirm whether or not the evidence was still there. Well, it could be, or it could have fallen into the hands of somebody associated with General Miller. We need to get over there immediately. Well, we find the evidence Chen left behind at the motel. We might find out who had a motive to frame him. I only hope we're not too late. Well, I thought you crossed the line when you intimidated Brenda Collin, General Miller, but I never thought you'd go so far as to actually attack her. Who do you think you are, walking in here and accusing me of? I may have used my influence to stop Miss Collins te from testifying during Chen's appeal, but I would never hurt her. Perhaps you'll reassess that claim once you see what we found. Agent, please show General Miller the item. Oh, that's easy. It's the pen. Was this? Well, it's a pen. They made it for my most recent class reunion. How'd you get your hands on one of these? We found it outside the facility where Brenda Collins was attacked, the same facility where they were holding evidence against Chen. Tell me, General, where is your class pen? Happy to have it right here. As a proud graduate of the Academy, I always keep a close eye on where my tokens from our functions are. You and I both know that Brenda was an addict. She was probably returning the evidence to the evidence locker for more drugs and ran afoul with whatever low life she was sharing them with. That facility holds high value evidence for the United States government. Jags often have excuses to go there. That pin could have belonged to a dozen different people, none of whom have anything to do with Miss Collins. I suggest that you stop focusing so much on strung out threat to national security and try to figure out where the terrorists holding Stephen Chen are. Well, kind of has a point, but we gotta get we gotta go forward on this. I have enough. All right, see what we can find here. Coded memo. AC safety glasses. Oh, look, safety glasses. Bag of ice. No smoking. Luggage. Dragonfly. Salamander. Coffee cup, FBI badge, raccoon. Nice work, Agent. Jen had them pretty well hidden. No wonder we missed them the first time around. Let's get these back to the post office to figure out what we're looking at. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Nice work taking care of that lock agent. Looks like Chen had hidden something inside. Some kind of map, maybe. Think you can put it back together so we can see what it's for? Sure. Crap. It's one heck of like a run through, man. This is a chapter in and of itself for me. Well, it's a map of a small village. All the buildings are outlined, and one of them is marked in red. I feel like I've seen this map before. I think the Air Force uses it to mark targets. The buildings are all clearly outlined, so the pilot can recognize them from above. Now, the question is, what is this building, and why was it being targeted? 
Alright guys, well I gotta wait some time. I will see you guys later. This is Virginia's 88. Over and out.